This is live Stormwatch coverage of Hurricane Irma from Good Day. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to our special coverage here this morning on Good Day of Hurricane Irma as it hits Florida. This is live look at Jacksonville. So that's in the north east corner of Florida so you can already get an idea of how those outer winds are hitting that far north right they don't have the brunt of the storm just yet but they're already beginning to feel the lashing of those outer bands of wind. Irma now moving toward the Naples area and Tampa on the west coast of Florida those were folks who thought that it was going to go to Miami and have a direct hit there. Miami right now, uh, it's no walk in the park there. They're dealing with 100 mile per hour winds. A crane has collapsed there as well as people deal with storm surges. Uh, but it really, Naples, Fort Myers, and Tampa, next in the line of fire. This thing hit the Cujo Key area in the Florida Keys as a Cat 4 610 as we were driving on in here to uh, to bring you this broadcast. Right, it's a good day today. It's going to be about Irma, Mary, and McClary here with Tony Lopez. Thanks for being here today. And after days of planning and a scramble to get ready, Irma is now beating down on the state of Florida. The deadly hurricane is back up to category four as we talked about after falling to category three as it moved across Cuba. CBS confirms Hurricane Irma is responsible for three deaths in Florida after killing more than two dozen people in the Caribbean. Kristen Holmes is in Fort Myers with what we know. After days of waiting, watching and preparing, Irma has arrived in Florida, making landfall Sunday morning. The storm is massive, 70,000 square miles, larger than Florida's entire land area. Heavy wind and sustained rain hammering the region and hundreds of thousands already without power. At least 36 million people are under hurricane warnings, and those who didn't evacuate hunkering down and holding on. We have shelters on the east coast, shelters on the west coast. Of course, as the uh, storm track pushed to the west, uh, we began to uh, mount up more uh, shelters and evacuation centers uh, over on the west coast. The storm regaining strength after pounding Cuba, intensifying to a category four in the waters south of the Florida Keys. Irma was further west than originally anticipated when it finally turned north, putting Tampa and the west coast squarely in the storm's path. We've been lucky because we haven't taken a direct hit in over 90 years, so uh, we, we, we really have been blessed, uh, but we also recognize that our day was going to come, and it looks like our day has come. With as much as 20 inches of rain predicted through Wednesday, Florida can only wait and hope for the best. Yeah, everyone's hoping for the best because it's going to be a, a long day and a long several weeks as people recover. Right, uh, from all the uh, damage. Let's get to meteorologist Lisa Meadows to see exactly where the storm is right now. Lisa? Movement is north at 9 miles per hour, so it is definitely a slow-moving storm. You can see it here on satellite, stretching the cloud cover all the way up across the east coast. Here's the eye just to the north of the Keys here, continuing to make its way to the north with this particular system. We have had a couple of tornado warnings and anticipated uh, that, of course, when we do have hurricanes, we often get tornadoes associated with them. We've had some warnings in place. Those are actually the red boxes, if you can see them here. And those are embedded within the outer bands of this storm, where we do have some heavier rain, also obviously dealing with some strong wind. Radar picture looking close to the eye wall just across to the north because the movement of this system, along with those winds, that's the reason that we are seeing some stronger winds across basically the northeastern section of this system. But noticing up into the Tampa area also dealing with some heavier rainfall and probably some tornadoes associated with that band as well. Here's where we have the hurricane warning across almost all of the state of Florida underneath this hurricane warning in the orange here. That is a tropical storm warning. Notice it goes all the way further inland to Atlanta where we do have that tropical storm warning. So here's the latest forecast. Category four at this time, 130 mile per hour winds. As it continues to encounter more wind shear and also moves over land, we anticipate it to start to lose strength. Category three storm, eventually a category one as it gets a little bit closer to the inland part of the state of Florida. And that won't be until tomorrow morning. Then it will eventually drop down to a tropical depression and a post-tropical low as it makes its way all the way up into Memphis. That's the forecast track. Future cast continues 
continue to pull this storm up. We are talking the potential of 15 feet of storm surge along the far coast of Florida. This system continues to make its way across the northern part of the state as we go into Monday. Like I said, it continues to spin its way across into the southeastern section of the U.S. here, and we're still looking at not only strong winds, but we also add in more rain. Locations across the southern tip of the state of Florida, 10 to 15 inches, moving a little bit further to the north, 6 to 10, and then even getting to the north of the state of Florida, about 4 to 6 inches of rain. So we are talking storm surge, we are talking strong winds, and we are talking more rain with this system, Tony. Good time to remind our viewers, Lisa's watching this hurricane all day long. She'll be back on the CBS 13 News uh, later on tonight at 5, of course, and at 10 o'clock when I'll we'll join Curtis Ming as well to see what Irma has done as nightfall. Uh, as Hurricane Irma approaches, actress Kristen Bell and the 80-plus crew filming an upcoming movie, they were unable to evacuate safely out of Florida because of the high demand. Kristen joins us now live on FaceTime in Orlando this morning. Kristen, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for taking time out. Uh, we've got a connection. Your dad is our boss here uh, at the TV station and put us in touch with you. So you're stranded in Orlando now, but it yeah. sounds like you have been making the most of your time there uh, by entertaining the troops, as it were. Tell us what you've been up to. You gotta, you gotta. <laughs> Look, we're all here. We're not gonna change this hurricane. And uh, you know, we're hearing a lot of gloom and doom and rightfully so. But if I could just say something to, if you've got family in Florida, don't hit them with the gloom and doom. We're doing okay. We're all making the most of it. We're, I'm staying um, here at Epcot at the Dolphin uh, Resort and there, like we have a crew of 86. There's a couple thousand seniors that have evacuated here from uh, Southern Florida. So we got a lot of, we got a lot of potties in the hallway. <laughs> we got a lot of wheelchairs. And we're making it work. And we're, I'm gonna call some bingo later on this afternoon. Um, this morning visited a shelter to try and sing for some people and lift their spirits a little bit uh, before we actually have to, within the next couple hours, there's a mandatory uh, off the road rule here in Orlando. But we are uh, bunkering down and everyone's bringing their dogs and these resorts have opened their doors. They're really not turning anyone away. So uh, everybody's kind of making uh, lemonade here. Kristen, I got to ask you, where does this rank in terms of career? Like, I never thought I'd be doing blank. I mean, <laughs> you never thought you'd be uh, singing as a hurricane approaches, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I've, I've, I've called it um, singing in a hurricane. And one of my favorite movies is singing in the rain. So I get this is just my version. It's a little bit more intense than I thought it would be. But I don't know, there's a weird, um, you know, it's sort of sad that it takes a natural disaster to bring out the best in people, but that's really, truly what I've seen. I mean, everyone is helping everyone here. We're just having fun at the one or two restaurants that are still open within this resort. And the, the uh, staff here at Disney and at Marriott have been unbelievably communicative and uh, helpful and they're doing the best they can because on any given day, they I mean, any given moment, they don't know who's showing up to work. There's a disaster crew that's supposed to say, I'll come in when there's a hurricane, but we don't know. So, you know, we've just told the front desk that we have an able-bodied crew and if we need to deliver toilet paper or water to people's rooms, we're, uh, you know, ready to be on staff. So the tweet that was going around like crazy yesterday uh, that caught my eye was Kristen Bell saves couples by finding them hotel rooms. And it was uh, a tweet from Josh Gad, your uh, co-star from Frozen, of course, uh, and how you saved, uh, got his parents' room. So tell us, uh, tell us about that. Tell us that story. Well, I, f I mean, that's a, it's a little hyperbolic, but I, I don't <laughs> know that I saved them. But, uh, you know, you, you do what you can in a time like this. And, and Josh called me in a panic. His family had prepared to be on the opposite side of the state. And when Irma uh, curved, uh, they were, they had nothing, nowhere to go. So um, he knew I was here. And again, our crew is very, very large, but also very, very kind. And so people decided to bunk up together and we did a little room switching because uh, there are very, very, very few rooms left, but we, um, we had people double up and everybody was game. And we got, I think he had 13 family members uh, come here last night and then um, I have other friends from LA who did the same thing this morning, but we got them rooms because everybody uh, is just ready and willing and we're all sleeping together 
and it's going to be a giant 48 hour slumber party. Yeah, we, we were told you put the, the parents on a kayak and actually had to, to paddle through the roughest waters to save them. Is that also <laughs> embellished a bit? <laughs> roughest waters you've ever seen. It wouldn't even register on your with your meteorologist. That's how rough the waters were. And then I just I kind of just flew them to the balcony of their room and tuck them in on oh. your back I'll <laughs> tell you but I'll tell you that tweet I can. that tweet caught my eye I'll tell you that I'm like I got to read I got to read what did she do Kristen thank you our talking <laughs> points say to ask you how great your dad is but I don't think we have time for that uh, do we My dad is great. Oh, Listen, okay, that's good boss, enough. He's also my boss. There you go. <laughs> he's, the, he's the best person on the planet. We'll call you from for pointers later. Uh, <laughs> appreciate your time, Kristen Bell live in Orlando. Attitude is everything, right? right? When you're right. dealing with this and uh, she's bringing that great attitude to people saying, "Hey, we're all in this together, so stay safe out there." Thanks for taking a few minutes uh, for us this morning. Thanks so much. Thanks, guys. Actress Kristen Bell, follow her on Twitter. She's been documenting this whole thing as she goes by, right? And having to stop down this uh, production of theirs and uh, just making sure that everybody's staying safe, entertaining the troops, as we said, and uh, just making, bringing up everybody's spirits right. while, while she can. Speaking of her Twitter account, I have to share this with you because I actually wrote it down as well. Uh, this is the real deal from uh, Pasco Sheriff. They actually had to tweet out out to clarify do not shoot weapons at Irma you won't make it turn around and it will have very dangerous side effects that was retweeted by by Kristen Bell and I actually said yeah that is a thing uh, well, somebody was going on Facebook and saying shooting weapons I can see why she would because in one of her tweets she called Irma a pretty bad name right so yeah. we won't we won't post that tweet particularly but if you want to follow her on Twitter she is I am Kristen Bell and uh, very entertaining Twitter feed. She was darling. And thank you again, Kristen, for joining us this morning. Speaking of social media today. Let's go back to Kinsey, who's keeping an eye on what people are posting out there. Kinsey. Yeah, thanks, Tony, for stepping on my tweet. Uh-oh. Oh, I didn't my know that. Goodness. All right. You can still tell. Do it again. Do it again. That's all right. We're, all right. Uh, we're still following Jeff, who's periscoping. He's been periscoping for the last two hours. He has over uh, 10,000 people watching him right now. But let me show you Joe Fletch from the Miami Herald's Twitter feed. He has some of the most incredible video posted to his Twitter feed um, right now. Look at this, and we'll jump here. And there's a one. I, I'll give you a couple seconds of each. But uh, as I scroll up, there is a movie mo movie-like moment right here. This is just so incredible. It looks like it, it's, it can't be real. Isn't that just terrifying? So Joe Fletch, if you want to follow him on Twitter and, and see what's going on on his Twitter feed, he's with the Miami Herald, and, and we've been getting, I, I, I mean, this looks insane. I can't um, even imagine being in, in the eye of this. Mm. So we are following the hashtags, and um, here we talked about the crane falling, falling earlier. EA Rodriguez 122 posting live video and look he's clearly high up there that's going to be scary to be so high up in the midst of all this chaos uh, but we'll continue to follow this is a billboard um, let me show you Josh uh, Morganman is the one that posted this video of the billboard uh, but a lot going on on social media we're going to continue to bring it as we get it in and uh, thanks so much Tony I promise right. not to ever step on you I'm sorry <laughs> all right there's, there's there's more than enough of that stuff to go around <laughs> no but there. thank you Got a live look here for you at Miami, the southern tip of the uh, mainland there. And look at that flag just whipping in the wind along with the palm trees. We'll continue to track Hurricane Irma all morning long. The latest just after a break. Stay with us.